hello my dear so jal kumar sen well let me balance a little with this camera well now this so in this uh, tutorial i am going to talk about types of process in thermodynamics td in short i always talk all right so what is thermodynamics i hope you understand what are types of system what is system what is state what is path and there are many things i have talked a lot on my different tutorial so in this tutorial i am going to discuss with you what are types of process in thermodynamics so first process i always prefer to discuss that is isothermal isothermal process what is isothermal process remember my dear friend in this video i am going to discuss with you all important four processes and you are going to uh, learn learn lot of more yeah i'm sorry i'm going to discuss with you another more i mean five processes i'm going to discuss with you and i will provide you tips and tricks to remember all those processes so what is isothermal process well this is a process where there is no change in temperature for if the uh, the system is changing from one place to another place so always say delta t is equal to zero i mean the temperature final minus temperature initial is equal to zero when there is no change in temperature that's why this is known as isothermal process now how to remember tricks i am going to you i'm going to provide you a trick to remember probably you were studying engineering or maybe you have heard about a branch that is it full form of it is information technology so how, how i have remember i for isothermal t for temperature so it means isothermal and t for temperature and t is equal to now i mean i mean change in temperature is equal to delta t is equal to zero so this is the way to remember this process now second second is isobaric process isobaric process so in this process we know delta p equal to zero and like the same p final minus p initial is equal to zero so how you can remember this process baric just take out take it out bar and we know that one bar is equal to 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square so this is the unit of newton per meter square means force per unit area that means this is the unit of what pressure so isobaric means pressure is constant there is no change in pressure in any process if there is changing for a system from one to two or maybe many okay so this is isobaric process now let's move to third one that is known as isochoric isochoric process in this process you have to remember a little bit in this process we have del v equal to zero there is no change in volume now fourth number i'm sorry i have to use a different color pen i'm sorry i'm repeating again i'm going to use a different color pen that is what isobaric adiabatic process adiabatic process means the i uh, guess it guess it yeah delta q equal to zero that means q final minus q initial is equal to zero i hope you understand now last what is that polytropic process there is also another process throttling but i'm not, not going to discuss about throttling process here i'm going to discuss about polytropic process what is that that is known as polytropic process polytropic process according to this process p r o c e double s according to this process p v okay let me show p v to the power n is equal to constant and what is this p means pressure b means volume what is this n n means polytropic index let me write polytropic index well thanks for watching hope to see you again in my next video bye bye